Hi guys, it's Charlie. So I'm wearing the same clothes as I was in my last video, but that's because I'm film. I've just filmed this straight after I filmed the last one. So yeah. Um. Anyway, I've got a book review for you, and the book I'm going to be reviewing is Jasper Jones by Craig Sylvie, which I finished about a week ago now. I just haven't had time to sit down and do a review. Um. So yeah, this book is set in Australia. It has six characters that are all quite significant in this book. Um, you have Charlie, who is the main character in this book, and the book kind of revolves around him. Then you have his best friend, Jeffrey, who I fell in love with and was just so funny. I loved him. Then you have Jasper, who is the bad boy of the town, and he's known as the thug. And, yeah, he just... People know him as the no-good boy, basically. Then you have Eliza, who is Charlie's love interest. You have Laura, who is Eliza's sister, but isn't in the book very long, which you'll find out in a minute. And then you have Mad Jack Lionel. Mad Jack is this character who you hear about from the beginning. And um, basically, Charlie's only really ever heard stories about him. And he's he lives in this house in the woods. And he's meant to have killed a woman a long, long time ago and not come out of his house ever since. That is not the case. Um, yeah, but it's kind of just what they really heard about him. So this book starts off one night with, with um, Jasper. Now Jasper, obviously, as I say, is known as the bad boy around town. And Charlie doesn't really have much to do with him. He's just heard about him. Until this night when Jasper starts knocking on Charlie's window. And he says, I need you to come and help me. I really need your help. So Charlie, in order to not seem like a wuss goes with him and Jasper takes him into the woods or I think they call it the bush in here because obviously it's Australian and um, to this clearing where he hangs out and up in the tree is the body of Laura who I mentioned earlier and I said she's not in it very long her body is hanging in the tree obviously she's dead and she's it's quite clear that she has been raped and beaten and so Jasper says to Charlie, you need to help me bury her and then we can find out who did this. But Charlie's like, well, no, we need to go to the police. We need to tell the police about this. And Jasper says, but if we tell the police, they're just going to think it's me. I'm known as the bad boy. This is my clearing. She's hanging from my rope. So they're just going to think it's me and I can't go to prison. So that night, Charlie decides that he's going to help Jasper. And they bury, they throw Laura's body into the dam and um and you learn a lot in that first chapter when they're burying her about jasper and why he's bad and that and why he does the things he does his mummy has died and his dad is an alcoholic and spends most of their money on that so the things he steals he has a reason to steal basically and the town has just kind of judged him and not really taking time to listen. And you kind of start to feel for him. Um, and yeah, so after that night, they go on this hunt to try and find out who killed Laura. Now, obviously, the first person they think it is is Mad Jack. Not only because of the stories they've heard about him, but also because Jasper tells Charlie that every time he's been down to the clearing in the last few weeks, Mad Jack has come out and started shouting at him and trying to get his attention. So Jasper's like, I know it must be him, we've got to prove this. But it transpires that Mad Jack is not who they think he is. Again, it's something that this town has shied away from rather than listening to. And they find this out one night when they go to visit Mad Jack. Um, so it's primarily a kind of murder mystery, but it is also a coming-of-age novel um, Charlie is obviously school age. It doesn't actually say how old he is, but you know he goes to school because they mention that. And it's kind of, it's his friendship with Jeffrey, who I um, fell in love with. As I say, he was so funny, literally had me crying with laughter on some bits. And his romance with Eliza, and Eliza knowing more about her sister's death than she's letting on. Um, and I really, really... And also, it's about... It's kind of about... Not judging people. And about not just thinking, oh, somebody's bad, that's it, they're just bad. Um, and actually th thinking that 
hold on, there might be a reason for that. You don't know what somebody else is going through. You know, there might be a reason that somebody is stealing or somebody is doing whatever. It doesn't just mean they're bad. And that's what this book is about as well, not judging people. Um, I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, it kept you guessing right until the last page. You just didn't know what was going to happen. There were so many twists and turns. You just wanted to keep going to find out what was going to happen next. People weren't who you thought they were. They were all hiding secrets. Um, oh, I just loved it. And at the same time, it was funny. And that was really nice to have that contrast of really deep and then really funny. Um, because that is the roller coaster of life. Sometimes it's really funny and there are good days, and then sometimes it's really dark and bad. Um, the first couple of chapters in particular are very, very dark. Now, obviously, the subject matter isn't one of, you know, happiness. It's a girl has died. Um, but it was so dark to the point that I almost put this book down. Um, but I'm so glad I didn't. It is worth persevering through the dark chapters at the beginning. A um, couple of things I didn't like was that the chapters are so long in this book. There's like nine chapters in this book. You can see how long it is. And if I just show you how long a chapter is in this book. So... Um, if I just show you how long... That's how long. That's how long each chapter is in this book. <laughs> and I hate books of long chapters. I don't know why. It's just always something I've hated. I get really bored if the chapters are so so long. So I didn't like that. And also, I felt like this book could have been shorter. For example, there is this conversation between Jeffrey and Charlie about who the best superhero is, and it goes on for like four or five pages and you just think you didn't need to go on so long about this put it in because it's part of their friendship but you didn't need to go on so long about it it had no relevance to this story it just kind of went on and I yeah I just didn't really I didn't like that and I felt it could have been shorter but overall it was a very very good book I would give it four out of five um, take off point just for those couple of reasons that I said but I really enjoyed it and I would recommend it. it's a really good murder mystery Good, I would say as well a good summer read I know summer reads are usually quite a bit lighter um, but we've just had some really sunny weather over here and I really enjoy sitting in my garden and just chilling with this book it was a really good book so yeah 4 out of 5 really 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 enjoyed it so yeah, that is my book review of Jasper Jones by Craig Sylvie. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.